everyone! Welcome to Eat Me Recipes! Today I'll be showing you how to make these non katai biscuits. The ingredients for this recipe is in the description box below and there you will also find a link for the full written step-by-step -step recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. Firstly, you want to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. To a mixing bowl, add in butter or margarine. Make sure that it's at room temperature. Thereafter, add in caster sugar. Mix with a spoon or an electric blender until it's smooth and creamy. Once done, add in cardamom or ilachi powder. Add in bicarbonate of soda. Baking powder. And semolina. Mix until combined. Next, add in all-purpose or cake flour and a pinch of salt. Mix with a spoon until it forms a crumbly mixture. Thereafter, go in with your hands and combine until it forms a biscuit dough. Pinch off a small piece of the dough. Squeeze the dough in your hands until it's compressed together. Thereafter, roll it into a ball.
and place it onto your baking tray. Continue this process and be sure to leave some space in between each dough ball. Now you want to take a whole almond and lightly press it down in the middle of each ball. This will also allow the biscuits to take shape. Once done, bake them for 20 minutes in the preheated oven. These Nankatai biscuits will not brown that much. Carefully remove the biscuits from the hot tray onto a cooling rack. Allow them to cool for a few minutes. Once cooled, you can plate and serve. These Nankatai biscuits are crunchy throughout and they also make for great gifts for Diwali or Eid. Enjoy and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more recipes. Just a quick reminder, the quantities are in the description box below and there you will also find the direct link for the full written recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also drop some recipe requests in the comment section and I will try to do those recipes as soon as I can. Enjoy!